Hello friends, in this video I am going to talk about Ansible inventory. At the end of this session you will be able to understand what is Ansible inventory and how to change or create a new inventory rather than using the default inventory file. And also we will show you how to define the host and host groups. In the previous videos I have explained to you about why do we go for Ansible than using Puppet or Chef and also explain the Ansible terminologies used in Ansible. Related links are mentioned in the description below. Refer those links that would be easier for you to understand this session much better. So let's get started. As you all know Ansible is an automation tool which works for multiple systems in an infrastructure at the same time. So we should have a system list to manage it. So we call that as an inventory. Ansible inventory file has a list of all managed host names one line per host. Because inventory management is also an important factor in Ansible. By default this file is located under slash etc Ansible and there would be a file called host. This is the inventory file of Ansible. So this is the default Ansible host file where we can add all our infrastructure servers to be managed by Ansible. Here you can define your host name in either IP address format or fully qualified domain name or just server name. These are the examples given by default. At the end of this line what I do I create my own list of servers. So this is how you can define all your list of host names to be managed by this Ansible. Now what you can do is you can group these hosts like this. Within the square bracket you can define your host group name. So a host can be in more than one group. Similar way. I can bring all my web servers under one group name that is web minus servers enclosed within square bracket. Also still you can simplify more of these lists. If your host names are similar the starting names then we can use these patterns instead of having this many lines. For that what I do. So now you can delete all these lines. That's it. So using this way you can have either numeric format or alphabetic format. This one is alphabetic format A to D servers. Same way if you want to have it from 1 to 3. That's it. Delete all other lines. So this is what the numeric range and this is what the alphabetic range. On some cases you may need to use a different user than root because when we are running a header commands or a playbook that will run using the by default user root. So if you wanted to override the user then you can use the options like At the end of the host name, you can pass the argument that is Ansible 
underscore user equal to the username you wanted to overwrite so only when you run this particular host that will overwrite the user root to john let me save and exit from this host file so let me show you how to use the inventory file on add a command so ansible if i give all it will take all the list of servers mentioned in the host inventory file doesn't matter even if it is belongs to any group this automation will happen to all the host hyphen yum i'm going to use some module for this testing purpose that is a ping so this will start pinging so for this testing purpose i do have a one client machine on that i can do a testing what i do i remove the existing file and i create a new host file where i am going to give my testing server so assume that this is my host inventory file save and exit from here now we have a different modules available in ansible so in the next videos i will explain you in detail how to use the modules how to use the add or commands and how to write and run a uh, playbooks so this session related to only the inventory so i am just concentrating on only the inventory part so ansible all which means i am going to run this ansible automation on all the host so i got the success message as ping pong which means the server is alive so this is how you can call your inventory again let me bring this host into a group all right so just save and exit from here and instead of all what i do assume that you have a different groups in your host inventory file on that i am going to call only the particular group called test instead of using all so what will happen this test this action will happen only to the particular group this will happen if i do some other group which is not present in the configuration file see what is happening no host matched because there is no group at all in that inventory file right again if you wanted to use a shell you can bypass your argument instead of using any modules you can exactly run a command using this add a command this is what the add a command i told you right this is what the ad hoc command add a command is a function to use the smaller task you can run only one task at a time if you want to do multiple tasks you should use a playbooks by writing a script format we'll explain you that in detail so this is what the add a command on that you can use your inventory file as well as you can use modules also you can use a shell exactly a shell so what will happen if i give i'm going to use the module shell and argument to be running at the client end is uptime so this is similar to that you are logging into the client end and you are running a command called uptime and you will get sorry i didn't change it yeah this is what the uptime of my client this is very similar that you didn't log into the server but from here itself you are logging into the server using a shell module and bypassing the argument uptime this is what add a command and this is how you have to call your host file still we have used the default host file under slash etc ansible for example if you are creating under root host file
I am planning to create a new host file under root rather than using the default host file. Okay, so what I do from here I delete all the host. Now let me show you. If I run this command by default, by default, if I run this command, this test is a group. So this group will look into the default host file under slash etc ansible host but there is no group and there is no host name being defined in the host because we have removed it so if i run this it will clearly tell you the error that no host matched because there is no host exist now what i do here you can bypass the inventory name where did you saved for example All right. So Ansible and you are overriding the option to use the inventory file on this location, not on the default directory. So use a hyphen I that is inventory option and the file name where the host names are defined. So similar way you can create a different different host files for different groups or you can create a single file and inside the single file you can create a multiple groups. Now inside this file we are going to call a group but remember that we have not created any group in this file so i just remove this clear yeah. now i am going to call the group that's it we have got the successful message so this is how you can use this host inventory file or you can create a new file and pass the inventory using hyphen option while using add hoc comments or playbooks if you didn't pass this hyphen i option by default ansible will look into the default file that is slash etc slash ansible host so hope you have got an idea of ansible inventory going forward we will see how to use Ansible add hoc comments and playbooks more in detail with some test cases. So keep practicing and have fun. Do not miss any updates. Stay connected with us. Thanks for watching this video. How did you feel? Is it helpful? Appreciate our efforts in the comment section below. Hit like button. Share with your friends about us. Subscribe our channel to get further updates. Stay connected with us on social networking sites. For more free tutorials, visit our website www.lanetiguide.net.